have revised our deployment plan with the name of accelerating the program so that we reach the set targets. The revised plan provides clear guidance to counties in terms of expanding vaccination posts and conducting outreaches. The plan will be shared with the counties before the end of this week so that we can open up as much activity in the counties as we can. And indeed, to open up the tourism sector, and we are heading for that season now, we now want to include the entire hotel industry staff in addition to all other frontline workers already prioritized. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, let me state that we continue to be concerned with the high mortality among the elderly. This is the reason we prioritized the vaccination of persons above 58 years of age. With the improved vaccine supply, I now direct that this blockade be expanded to include all persons above 50 years of age. And in addition, and in line with the deployment plan, I also direct the immediate inclusion of all persons above 18 years old with underlying medical conditions or disabilities. As I conclude, I want to once again take this opportunity on behalf of the Kenya government and the Ministry of Health in particular to thank the government of Japan, represented here today by the ambassador, for the major support today. We are truly grateful, Your Excellency. We also want, we also cannot forget the United States government, UPS Foundation for the soft boxes, without which it would be almost impossible to transport the, the Pfizer vaccines. We are equally very, very grateful. As noted, this capacity enhances our deployment efforts, and we do not take it for granted.